Hi all, very good evening. Today I am talking on uh, so how to monitor the SQL Server. So before going to about that topic, myself guys, I am Rasekar Reddy Bolla. I am having uh, 10 years of experience into the SQL DBA development for for my student. And right now I am working as a cloud engineer. Yeah. So this is uh, my YouTube channel, guys. Yeah. Let's go to that topic. Yeah. So SQL monitoring is very important, guys. So SQL monitoring is a continuous collection and analysis of usage, performance, and event metrics. Okay. Without monitoring SQL Server, it's tough to us uh, to baseline the SQL Server. Okay. Everything uh, what's all running in so DBA DBA is nothing but monitoring. Okay. So in this video, what we are going to learn is uh, suppose okay this kind of questions will arise. All the answers of these questions we will learn in this video. Okay, so why my application is slow? Why my query is taking time? Why uh, how to check the blocking? How to check the blocking deadlocks? Why my CPU memory taking hundred percent? Why suddenly hundred percent? So I want to tune particular SP. The the SP is currently right now running. I want to see the execution plan, or I want to kill all the sessions particular related to one. Uh, DB or particular login related uh, sessions I want to kill. Okay, or one query is running. Uh, suppose backup is running. I want to see the percentage of completion. Okay, so like this. Uh, so all all you can monitor using uh, below scripts, guys. Okay, let's discuss uh, each of these uh, in real time, guys. In real time, people will monitor like this only. Okay. Uh, so this is real time uh, in my 10 years so the best way the best way how to monitor and all i am explaining now okay yeah so uh, mostly uh, all of us you know at the initial beginning of you know uh, in as a fresher okay we use it to use sp underscore v2 for everything okay so nowadays guys uh, mostly nobody uh, people are using sp underscore v2 mostly people are using sp underscore v is active okay so sp underscore who is active is a custom sp guys so you can google it okay uh, this is the link for that you can download uh, you can download uh, that sp underscore who is uh, active sp that is stored procedure okay if you create that sp that will be created in the master database by default okay no problem guys yeah. this is a free tool okay this is a free tool uh, mostly all over the world, almost all SQL DBA people are using this one. Even Microsoft also trying to buy this one. Okay, this is uh, uh, created by Adam Mechanic uh, guys. Uh, actually, we should say uh, a lot of thanks to him. Uh, yeah. So you can download guys. Uh, so which version if you want, you can download this one. This is about documentation. Yeah. So suppose uh, your client, your client uh, not allowing to create this SP. That's okay, no problem. Okay, we have other alternative. So that alternative is uh, you can download, uh, you can use this uh, query. Okay, sp underscore who is active alternative. This is the query, guys. Yeah, you can also use this query. Okay, this is almost similar results it will give. Even when I work with Microsoft guys, we use it to use same query. Okay, to know what currently running and all. So we use it to use same query and all. Or else, you know, if you want to simple script, if you want to use use sp underscore v2 with custom query, okay? Just uh, same result, get right? sp underscore v2, whatever it gives, it will give the same. You can filter it out. I want to only related host name. I want a particular DB name, uh, database DBA, uh, what are all running under the database. Like that, you can filter it out, where DB name equals to uh, DBA, or DB name equals to adventure works, or login, login name equals to Raj, okay? Like that, you can filter it out. Yeah, let's go to in depth, guys. Yeah, suppose you know, let's run this query. Who is active? See, guys, uh, in this uh, who is active? See how much time uh, the query is running. Okay, duration also it will give. So days, hours, minutes, seconds, milliseconds. See how beautiful it is, and what queries are running currently? Huh? These are all active queries are running right now in SQL Server. Okay. And uh, what are the queries? Uh, uh, which guy is running right now? Uh, what are the wait info? What are the CPUs? See, this is a query taking high CPU, even 100 CPUs, uh, I mean 100% CPU 
which query is taking and all by seeing here itself you can tell which query and all okay see and uh, blocking also you can check see so right now 60 is blocked by 56 56 is this query so like that blocking sessions also you can check it hmm? physical reads uh, logical reads uh, uh, open transactions even open transactions also you can check it huh? so like this like this you can check guys so suppose you know so yeah this is taking high cpu right which query yeah this uh, query high cpu it is taking you if you want to see the execution plan yeah without seeing the execution plan how are you gonna do if you want to tune this one so you can use like this sp underscore is active get plans equals to one okay so that it will give the execution plans as well see so this is the query right taking high cpu at this one suppose okay for this one related let's see the execution plan see this is the execution plan this query is running but uh, this doesn't have the uh, an index okay sufficient index doesn't have we call it as a missing index if you can create this uh, missing index okay right click uh, missing index details okay if you can create this index this uh, current executing query will be improved by the 99 percent means uh, suppose current query is taking 100 seconds to run after implementing this index it only takes one second see where is 100 seconds where is one second okay so easily okay you can uh, you can monitor the sql server uh, what are all queries running why these queries are taking time is there any uh, index of, is there any execution plan um, i mean uh, so is there any index scan seek and all everything you can check here itself guys okay i'm just closing this one primarily uh, we are discussing about uh, so how to monitor the sql server okay so to know about how to tune the i mean to know about performance tuning and all so i will conduct uh, separate classes for performance tuning okay right now we are only discussing monitoring part suppose guys you if you don't know what are the parameters you need to pass in that case you can just run this like this okay this is the documentation it completes documentation help equals to one if you run then it tells okay so what are the parameters you can parameter uh, what are the parameters you can pass okay if you pass the parameter what it will give and what are the columns and uh, what the columns uh, tell what are uh, so like this also you can see ddmm what is dd <clears throat> read say physical read what is physical read physical read is a direct reading from the disk logical read is a directly reading from the memory like that you have a description here okay yeah so this is about who is uh, active guys you can use in real time sp underscore who is active okay to monitor easily to, uh, your sql server you can use sp underscore who is active suppose if you are not uh, unable to use sp underscore who is active due to so and so reasons then that's okay you can use sp underscore who is alternative one just close this one see the same one it is giving see session id status uh, uh, login name when uh, the query has been started uh, okay uh, blocking uh, sessions see blocking sessions also it is saying wait type it is showing wait time we elapsed elapsed time i mean total time okay total time you need to convert into the uh, seconds to minutes like that you need to convert okay yeah. so if you want to you can uh, customize uh, this query if you want so see uh, query plans also it is showing okay query plans also it is showing see see the same query plan i showed you right using sp underscore who is active the same one it is showing so like this if you want you can use this one this query okay so or else if you want to use uh, i mean another query to monitor this sp underscore who2 only see without uh, where class if you run this will give same as sp underscore who2 see all the sessions suppose you know if you want to only particular related database dba database sessions i want then you can check it here suppose a particular login related okay login related i want all the login related controller suppose this guy 
this guy connections I want. You can give like this. So suppose even uh, this guy, I want to connect. I want to disconnect. Okay, I will kill all the systems. So like this particular database related, login related, host name related, and only blockings if you want to see. Huh? Uh, like uh, where class, where class block by uh, not equal to this uh, dot mark, not equal to. So like this, you can monitor guys, sp underscore who to. Hmm? Is a filter it out. I'm just keeping in the table variable. So like this, we will monitor guys in real time. Okay. So uh, yeah, uh, this is about uh, monitoring of SQL Server guys. If you like this video, uh, like and please give comments and also please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks guys. Thanks for listening and watching this video.